<laughs> so, so check it out. <laughs> Temperature gun. Oh yeah, nice 34 degree air blowing out of there. 13, 12, it's getting colder and colder. Typically you would um, put these holes down here uh, just because it's quieter for the water drop. I didn't have an image to drill a hole that close to the, to the water line of the boat in the water. Also our hull has um, wood inside it, so it's fiberglass, wood, fiberglass on the inside, right? So when you do that, you have to seal the core of epoxy. Up no. top, it's just solid fiberglass, so there's no, no damage. You know, if any water ever gets in here, it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, there we go, here's my hole. Oh, on the boat. Oh. Oh. Okay, now you can push it through. It's springtime in Hollywood, Florida, where we're anchored off the ICW. Now, in the midst of preparing for our departure from the U.S. Cruising plans will take us to destinations abroad for quite some time, and in preparation, we're tackling boat projects. Right now, installing an air conditioner. That's kind of the anchor, huh? We showed you the first part of that process last time, and today we're pushing forward with the remainder of the job. Into the bilge. Before we continue, though, we're upgrading our inverter charger to a new Victron model doing a swap of inverters today. Um, the reason we're swapping out inverters is because this one is old, it was built in 2014. Um, as we're heading more remote areas, we wanna make sure that nothing breaks. But also the Victron unit is bigger, so it's 3000 watts instead of 2000. It's also pure sine wave instead of modified, modified sine wave. And we've been uh, having issues running some sensitive electronics on modified sign. Uh, modified sign is basically like dirty electricity, slightly different frequency. We got a new uh, Mavic 2 Zoom, and the uh, I was going nuts thinking that it was broken, but it won't charge on modified sign. When I plugged it into the Honda 2000, which is pure sine wave, um, it fired right up. Typically, you need to have a soft start on the air conditioner motor just to crank it. The cranking amps are like five times the amount of wattage than a normal running rate. Um, so I'm hoping that I could avoid um, installing the soft start. This one has a 6,000 uh, watt, like so six kilowatt surge rating. Mm -hmm. I think our air conditioner is rated at seven kilowatts. This one has a transfer switch. So as soon as the inverter sees uh, input, like from the generator or shore side, it closes off the entire inverter function. So it's like a switch flips and then you're only powering off whatever's at the Honda right, or right. shore power cord. This one has some circuitry that allows it to combine the generator power plus its own battery inverting power. It's called power control. This startup loads like quarter second or something. It's just literally all the electricity taking to get that compressor turning over. And then it goes to like a 1200 watt uh, power or so, um, which uh, this inverter could even run that. It's not a problem for it. So we'll see if it has the capacity to get it pumped up and get it started. It'd be pretty cool. So what I'm just doing is it's, it's actually, I don't think we have to really film this install. It's actually pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, AC input which is from the shore power cable on deck, which is like the dock side or the Honda 2000 um, output, which is wired to the AC main here and lights up the rest of the boat outlets, and then positive, negative. So it's literally just AC in, AC out, which is these two, battery, and that's it. I'm just gonna go swap the wires out. Fun times. <laughs> All right, so. I think I finally have our ducting under control. Um, I was too cheap to buy a marine one of these, so I bought a $17 one off Amazon. Um, I had to remove the wood, so I took a Dremel and I just chopped down the wood here, because it's meant slat. the slat. Couldn't find the right size transition box. This basically just makes the air uh, distribution more efficient. I took a 
jigsaw, and I made this a little shorter. I also had to cut a hole in the bottom of this and add this uh, oval duct so the hose could attach here. So I have butyl tape in it, um, so hopefully it could stop any air leaking. I figure it stops water, it should be able to stop air. Um, yeah, so what's going to happen is we're going to drill a hole here where our speakers used to be. The box will be up against the bulkhead behind me, mm -hmm. and the hose will come from the unit onto here, mm -hmm. and then this will this inside will, the closet. Inside the closet, and this will be mounted against the bulkhead in the closet, and then this will be our covering. the dust. <laughs> okay. That was there. Sawdust. It's one too many holes, I think, that you've had to drill over the last... <laughs> I got like PTSD from drilling holes in the boat. Oh my god. So, this is, we'll go over this. Nothing to see here. No to you. No holes to see here. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, you can see we have the bedroom vent installed there. Yeah. Um, so Very nice. the T-vent is going to go here, so I'm going to have to put a hole through the bulkhead here. Okay. This is coming off the unit from here to here, okay. and then this one is going to be have to be a little bit longer and go there. Okay. It'd be ideal if it was like that, yeah. but then your closet bar is in the way. My closet bar? Yeah, we go here. Okay. I think the less, the least bend, the better. This is day six, which is what I predicted. I don't think we're going to, I don't know if we're going to be quite done today because we're missing some cabinetry. <laughs> what the hell? That's not supposed to happen. It's been a long six days, but the good thing is that we're getting closer to the home stretch. What we need at this point is just a little extra push, which means it's time to do a test run. <laughs> got some air there, honey? Look what we got running here. Let's get the temperature gun and show them. Yeah. Right there. Don't mind the state of the boat. <laughs> that should just be like an everyday disclaimer. Nice 30, 6 degree air, 34, 23 degree, 23 degree air blowing out right now. And there she blows. Love. We're actually able to avoid getting a soft start. Oop, I heard a beep. <laughs> oh. What you got for me, honey? You're coming here. Here's our control panel. On this back wall here. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> We got some more storage space up here because we built this shelving. We 
have the main compressor unit inside here. This is the air grate, and we have a little door to access it. We didn't put the hinges in here yet. Um, I just have it beetle taped on. And then in here, we got a little more storage. <clears throat> you can also see we have the, here's the water pump running. This is the drain. This is like the water drain for the uh, condensate. Here's our salon vent. The consideration is where to mount it. We didn't want to get too close to the main chain plate, the cap shroud here, so we kind of kept it more to the left. But you also had to be inside the closet. Right, you couldn't be here because this is just a, this is part of the bulkhead. So it's basically right on the edge of where we could have it inside. So our chain plate is there. Um, we're trying really hard because the installation to not uh, affect the integrity of the chain plates. So that is why we, one of the reasons why we put the vent where we did on the other side, as Bill said. And then um, on this side, there's a chain plate that you can't see. And we also wanted to not have this um, be anywhere near that because these are, holes are quite wide. They're four or five inches. Four and a half. That four one. and a half inches. So we had this move over as far to the left side as we possibly could to get away from that chain plate that's back there that you can't see, which is also a good thing because the duct goes through into my closet. Um, and is at the top of the closet, and it's kind of like behind this area here, which was dead space. So this didn't impact my ability to kind of be able to move my clothing through because it's so far up at the top. So it actually really had no impact on my closet. Um, and this is the bedroom vent. So check it out. <laughs> Temperature gun. Oh yeah, nice 34 degree air blowing out of there. 13, 12, it's getting colder and colder. And the other interesting thing is in conjunction of all this, right now you don't hear any generator and we're on the hook. We're actually running it off of our new Victron 3000 watt inverter, which is pretty crazy. You can see we're drawing 100 amps out. Wow, it's a lot of amps. <laughs> yeah. But with all the lithium and this, giant, this inverter is like a very high quality, big inverter, 3,000 yeah. watts. Um, Great upgrade. That's a wrap on that one. How many days did we say? I think it took me six, six and a bit. The inverter kind of killed the half day. Remember, we had, yeah. we had trouble. That we bought the inverter on eBay, and it wasn't set. It was supposed to be brand new, but it actually wasn't. So it um, was set up to be like a parallel system. So I had to go like figure out how to get into the settings. You had to be a Victron dealer. I needed a, a USB interface. It was kind of a pain. But Did they email you back? Yeah, they gave us a, they gave us a three hundred fifty dollar refund on it. So the inverter actually only cost six hundred bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a wrap on this one. Mm -hmm. Now all that's left to do is the best part. Fill up my new storage space with enough food to feed an army. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Bum, 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 bum. So I'm just making an iced coffee, um, getting my energy up because I am about to fill my about I'm about to fill my new food spot with food. This space, uh, Bill has. Bill has um, designed for my food storage in mind. So right now I have everything under the table. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm really excited to have more food storage. Are you gonna go now? <laughs> Not in my way, it would be. Which ones? Anything else? Could be it. I'm just trying to change positions. In case, like, 
this shoe thing's too close. Okay. That was painful. 